Hey, I'm Robert Cooksaw Manufacturing. Uh, I want to show you some of the adjustments we're going to make on a mill today. This is our HD3238 sawmill, uh, one of our most popular sawmills. This is our entry level hydraulic machine. Um, and we've got a stationary guide arm that is fixed and a movable guide arm on the machine. Um, that movable guide arm comes in and out and it works on, um, it's got UHMW slides on it. And that's got to be adjusted just coming out of the shop so it slides in and out evenly. Uh, it's got to be able to move, but it's also got to um, stay tight where there's no extra play in it. So we'll walk you through the adjustments that have to be made on that movable guide arm. We got the machine running. Um, we're going to come back to our remote box. And on our remote box, it is on a lead. And I've got push buttons on here to move that guide arm in and out. Now we're going to bring this head back to us so we can kind of see that a little bit better. Uh, but when I push this button in, that guide arm shouldn't move in towards the log. When I push it out, that guide arm should move away from the log. Uh, and it is moving, but it's hanging a little bit, so we need to go in and readjust that. So we're going to go in and we're going to make that adjustment. We're going to go ahead and get this belt guard off of here. It comes off on rubber latches. Picks up off out of the way. Easy to get to. And this slide right here, that is what we're going to be adjusting. Um, inside of here is UHMW plastic. And there's a piece on the top, a piece on the side, and then one on the bottom. Um, so you've got four pieces going around it. Now on the top, there are three adjustment bolts going down through it, and then one down there at the very end. Um, and there's also two on the side, one here. And if we come around to the guide side, there's another one there. And you see the one on top. Um, so that is pushing on a metal plate these bolts are that is pushing on that UHMW plastic um, So it's metal on plastic and that's that high wear stuff get good life out of it uh, But I can adjust it with these bolts. So we're gonna make that adjustment So we're gonna go through and we're gonna go ahead and just loosen up all the jam nuts So we got our jam nuts loose and we'll get these bolt heads loose. Now I still do have tension on this blade. So that blade is good and tight. We're gonna take tension off of that. So whenever we tighten this back up, we are not pushing on that blade because you do have down pressure on this guy that's picking that arm up, especially now that we've got it loose. Uh, that blade is certainly going to be picking that arm up. So let's go ahead and get that tension off of that blade. When we do that with our hand crank. Got your handle, slides into the receiver. And we'll crank that down. Measuring the key stock. We've got some other videos to go through this tension. If you got questions about that, give me a call. So we got the tension off the blade good and loose there. We've loosened those bolts, so we've got plenty of play in that arm. You do not want to see that slop as this arm moves in and out. Um, it will not stay alignment. That guide's pushing down on the blade, and we've got our adjustments back here, so I can tilt that, just the guide, not the whole arm, um, up or down. But if I've got a slop like this, anytime that guide moves, I'm out of alignment. Um, and I, I'm not doing myself any favors. I've got to have it more, um, more resistive than that. So we're going to come back to our bolts. I'm just going to start off by finger tightening them top one one on the side I've got a little bit of paint on those threads we're just going to 
ease it so I kind of feel some resistance. The same thing on the side. Just trying to keep it fairly even. Now I'm going more off feel than anything else. And you can feel when you're pushing on it and then when you can really start pushing on that plastic. You see we're taking a little bit out there. We need to go a little bit tighter so we'll move around to the back. Top and the side, got those fairly snug. Make sure I'm not pushing on the gym, no, not filling it there. Back, and we're pretty snug on that. And they go. Just kind of check it for feel. Tighten up that back one. I do want to come up and check the check the front ones. So that arm is good and tight. Um, I don't I don't want any play or slop in it. And then we've got this middle one back in here. Just gonna reach around. Get that one finger tight on the top. Let's see if I can't get my wrench to the side over here. I'm really letting my outer two bolts do most of the work. I'm just trying to keep this one uniform here in the middle. We're going to go around and get all of our jam nuts. This plate here on the end, um, I can take both of these bolts completely out. That plate right there will slide off, and then I've got UHMW plastic, and I'll show you what those look like inside of here. I don't believe we're going to change them. We're just going to adjust them on this machine. But you'll have four of these going around, and then on the two that have the bolts, so the top and the side, that corner will have that metal insert, which is just blade stock. Um, and that bolt pushes on that metal so it's not digging through that plastic there. But that's what it looks like on the inside there, that high wear plastic with the, the metal plate um, protecting it from that bolt. And that's how we're making that adjustment on it. All right, so back to these gem nuts. Tell you what, I'm used to working with two hands, not one. So we're going a little bit slower, but we'll get there. All right, let's put tension back on that blade, crank it up, see if we've got a little bit better movement on it. So as we're doing it, I am looking for that key stock, just tension on the blade. <clears throat> And anytime I'm doing adjustments and testing, I've got to have it set at sawing tension. Uh, if I don't, I don't know if I'm making any headway or not. All right, I'll get it fired up. moving in and out real smooth just like we want it to got full range of it it's not catching it's not skipping anywhere um, with the tension off the blade that arm was good and tight uh, last step would be using our blade alignment tool 
and I would bring this guide all the way in, check my alignment here, take my guide all the way out, check my alignment there, make sure that matches up, and then uh, I'm ready to saw. So whether you've, uh, you've got to adjust this because your pads are getting uh, a little on the worn side, or if you go in and replace those pads, that UHMW plastic inside of there, that is a wear item, um, several thousand hours in, you will have to replace that. That is the, the process I'm going through to line that back up. Hey, we appreciate you watching our videos. Um, if there's anything that you've got questions on on our mill, if you're shopping for a mill, if you've got one and you're looking for some help on it, give us a call. And uh, we are trying to get more and more of these videos out there. We haven't in a while, but we are trying to get more posted. So if you got ideas on uh, quick things that you're wanting to see, give us a call, shoot us an email, and uh, we'd be glad to, try to make a video for you.